Claire Jones, Financial Times. Just to circle back to um, the greater confidence aspect of the statement, um, there's been a lot of unanimity in recent meetings. I'm just wondering, going forward, when it comes to all needing greater confidence, is the unanimity or at least consensus among FOMC members about what the threshold for that greater confidence is? And if not, could you maybe tell us a little bit about the discussion today on, you know, what the variations between FOMC members was on what constitutes enough confidence to cut rates and also if there was any variation on how quickly that greater confidence threshold could be reached. Thank so you. We're, we're, not at, we're not really at that stage. You know, we're, 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 there was no proposal to cut rates. Uh, some people did you know, talk about their view of the rate path. I would point you to the SEP uh, as, as, uh, you know, as good evidence of where people are, although it is, it is one cycle later. So you know, we, we are, we're, not, we're not at a place of, of really working out those kinds of details because we weren't actively considering you know, a, a, a moving, moving the federal funds rate down. I will say there's a, there is a wide disparity, a healthy disparity of views, and you see that in public uh, public statements in the minutes uh, and the transcripts when they're released every five years. So we do have a healthy uh, set of differences, and I think that's actually essential for making good policy. We're also able to reach agreement generally because we listen to each other, we, we compromise, and even though not everybody loves what we do, they're able to, for the most part, able to join in. And to me, that's a, that's a well-functioning public institution.